That means the Greater Hartford St. Patrick's Day Parade is on this Saturday. Joining us this morning is Kathleen Boldick from the Central Connecticut Celtic Cultural Committee, which then we just call the, the five C's. C's. Yes. yes. Thanks so much for being with us. Oh, you're very welcome. My pleasure. This is very exciting. This is something that we look to forward to every single year. The second year that it's making its return after COVID. Yes. So it still, you know, feels so good to be back doing it. It does. Right? Yes, it does. And it's very exciting this year. Well, we always look at the weather from a week before, and we just oh yeah, we pray for uh, <laughs> we pray for seventy degrees and sunny, but we'll take uh, forty five degrees and sunny. <laughs> right. So, so that's the way it's looking now, and it's uh, it's looking to be a very full house in mm -hmm. the city of Hartford. So mm -hmm. and the prepara preparation for this yes, it, basically as soon as the parade is over, you yes. take like two days of a break and exactly. then it's back to planning again for yes. the next year. We start all over. So all every year long. all year long is our fundraising and mm -hmm. every year we're a hundred percent volunteers. So, uh, and our fundraising is as needed. So every single year we raise the amount of money that we need to put on the parade for the next year. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're fortunate to get sponsorships and grants and things like that mm -hmm. as well. We were a 501c3. Uh, we do fundraising. We have a raffle. Actually, it's on our website. Uh, on social media, you'll see it. But uh, fundraising is, is what we do. Right. And, and then the day of putting on that parade just takes so much energy mm -hmm. to get everybody lined up appropriately. Yeah, and I know. Exactly. <laughs> Who is responsible for making sure everybody is in order? Well, that, that person deserves an award. That person is Eileen Moore. She is our parade uh, chairperson mm -hmm. and so her role is to make sure the lineups are accurate mm -hmm. so that as they go by the Fox 61 booth we can talk about who's coming by and what bands what dancing schools and then as they come by the reviewing stand the same thing so uh, that everybody knows and we can speak to very accurately who's walking down the street right right and it's very exciting because we have a new contingency in the yes, parade we do. this year share that information yeah so we're very excited we have a um a sister group actually from new ross wexford ireland in ireland and yes from ireland they are coming over and they're going to participate as a contingent in our parade and all of the festivities that go along with it. Mm -hmm. We have a mass at St. Patrick, St. Anthony the night before. And then of course, there's lots of celebrating after the parade itself too. Oh, yes. oh, so yeah. we're very excited that they're coming over for our parade. Right. Yeah. Now, what does it take to have a community, a city or a town join the parade? Uh, well, the town needs to approach the five C's, the, the, uh, the executive team, and to identify what they can bring to the parade. So whether mm -hmm. if they're bringing, they have to bring fundraising. So every town, we have nine towns right now, and that they do the majority of the fundraising. It's it's a lot of work. And they have them. their own fundraising they within do. their individual town and city. They do. Right. And so if a town would like to come in, they come in and present their uh, their proposal and how much money based on what they believe they can raise in the town. And then there's a vote. Um, from the organization, which includes all of the other town chair people. And, you know, the more the merrier. If, yeah. if a town is committed and they are willing to uh, bring in, you know, school bands and uh, and things like that, dancing schools and the town contingent, some of their mm -hmm. legislators, town officials, right. town officials. Mayor. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. And so we love having uh, new towns yeah. anytime. It is a lot of work, but it's worth it, right? It is. It is a lot of work, but it is worth it, and it's all about keeping our Irish heritage and culture uh, alive and well mm -hmm. in the greater Hartford community. There have been so many immigrants over the last 300 years, mm -hmm. um, and m the majority of us are still first or second generation. Mm -hmm. And so it's... Uh, it's a festival, and and the thing is, it's not just Irish. So 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 many people right. who have come to Hartford. It's a melting pot. And you don't it's know just, anything about, but you're learning about the culture. Exactly, it's just a huge celebration. It's a, and a we're great very celebration in the community, and we're so grateful to be part of it every single yes, year. Yes, we're, we're thankful to the you. The 51st as well. year, so we're looking forward to it so we much. We are too. Thank you so much for being with us. You're very we welcome. Do appreciate it. All right, and just for another. Reminder here, it is happening this Saturday, the 11th. Our coverage starts at 11. You can watch it live on CW20. It's also going to be streaming on Fox 61 Plus. And speaking of